Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna update you guys on what's been going on, what's going on, and then what to expect for my channel. Um, I'm just chilling on the chair. I have my coffee in hand and I'm just gonna kind of update you guys. So the announcement is we're moving. <laughs> So I know if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys are like, girl, you guys just got there. You guys just bought your house. You guys just did stuff to your house. I know. <laughs> um, okay, so if you guys have not clicked in, this is the very first time you guys are watching my videos. Um, we are originally from the Palm Springs area in California and we moved over to Virginia for my husband's job. He got a position out there. Um, and we were supposed to be out there for about three years or so. And because of a family situation, somebody was sick, we ended up trying to come back as close to California as possible. And that's how we ended up here in Arizona. We were planning on being here for a while, but then a job opportunity opened for my husband um he just works in his management in hr a couple months ago an opportunity came up and he put in for it and he got the promotion so um we are very excited and we could stay here and he could commute right now he is commuting a lot of people here in the phoenix area do commute um so it's not like uncommon and right now he commutes about an hour and a half um each way and it ends up putting an extra like 15 to 20 minutes per direction on his drive so we timed it out we did the drive and then we did the drive from california and it's way closer if we end up going back to california his commute will only be an hour if we move back to california um versus an hour and a half of what he's even doing right now by the time this video goes up he would have already started that other position um and he will be doing the daily commute for right now so our game plan was <laughs> You like how I said was? Our game plan was to move as soon as the kids were out of school this school year, which was in May. So my husband was like, don't worry about it. I'll suck it up. I'll do the drive um, until the kids are out of school. And then we start them new school year over in California, which isn't even a big deal because we're going back to where we used to live. We're from there. Both of our families are there we have friends the kids have friends like it's not like it's a transition do you know what i mean so in october the beginning of october we went down to the desert and i was like hey should i contact our real estate agent and just try and see how we have time we can start looking at some homes and start narrowing down some um, neighborhoods some housing tracks and then from there we can start kind of narrowing down what uh, floor plans work for us and which ones don't if they're too small if they just like are a no-go he was like yeah and we have always bought into new construction that's just the way it was um, back in the Palm Springs area there was so much new construction going on years ago up until recent and it was just like you just bought a new home and then when we moved here to virginia or to virginia we moved here to arizona our plan was to buy a resale and fix it up the way that we like it well we learned real quick in our price range that the fixer uppers were like it needed to be gutted and fixed up and we didn't have the financial means to do that nor the people that we knew to do that out here or anything like that so we ended up just buying a new construction but that wasn't what we were coming in to arizona looking for well back in california there's like no more new construction so we knew that we were looking for a resale something that had good bones something that didn't need too much work but yet 
it we could still do some stuff to it to make it our own um so we had three homes to look at and so we looked at the, the first house and i couldn't even get past all the crud these people had out and i mean it was like a hoarder situation like there was just stuff everywhere everywhere we were like i can't i can't even like get past see, like all their stuff to even see the house so then the second house that we went and looked at um it was better but um it wasn't down a very good street so we were like no and then the third house that we went and looked at it was in a good area good street but it was like everything needed to be redone on it and then the master bedroom we thought it was a regular bedroom we thought it was a regular bedroom and like the kids hallway bathroom but no that was the master i was like ah so we pretty much felt a little defeated um because we knew certain housing tracks that we wanted to look at and then we kind of felt like those housing tracks were a no-go any longer so i was like great what are we gonna do I know we have time more houses will come on the market um but it's just kind of like what are we gonna do like those housing tracks aren't working for us so my husband went on like zillow and started looking up homes in an area that we have always dreamt of living in and but they were just way out of our price range so there was this one house there and he's like it's actually affordable like should we go look at it so i emailed our real estate agent and we went and looked at it the next day and it was great um the bathrooms need to get redone the laundry room needs to get redone we need to paint do new flooring but there's brand new carpet in the house it's not carpet that we would pick but it's new carpet the kitchen has granite it's not our granite it's not like a kitchen that we would have here but the cabinets are in good condition um and the granite isn't bad so it's something that we don't have to replace right away um so really the only things that we would have to do once we have the financial means for it is redo the bathrooms so we were like what do we do like we don't want to lose this house so we sat down with the kids and talked to them and they said that they would not mind moving in December, that they're completely okay with it. We always try and talk to the kids and make sure that we hear their concerns, um, hear their voice in this whole moving situation every single time we've moved. I think that's the reason why it has been so successful every single time is we include them in every step of the way. So they were like, no, we want to come back to California. So we're like, okay. So we put in an offer, the seller countered and we accepted. And yeah, so we are buying a house over in California and uh, my brother-in-law, my husband's side of the family, he is a painter that's what he does he's done it for years he paints cabinets furniture walls all that type of stuff he's painted cabinets for us in the past that we wanted like darkened and has came out great so since all the cabinets are good inside the house we are going to have him come and paint all the cabinets so then really the only thing inside the kitchen is we have to replace the countertops we're going to go a little different than what we have here but yeah we are really excited it has really good bones um i will officially have a filming room in that house which is really exciting and we are excited i will do an empty house tour you guys will be along every step of the way of like the remodel of it and everything so what are we going to do with this house you guys ask because i know you guys are wondering we're going to hold on to it um so we will have two homes and we are going to rent it out we've already hired a manage it management property 
company to come rent this out and we got rave reviews by them people that have rented from them and then people that are using them to rent out their house so they came very highly recommended and we are very confident in them we feel like we can walk away and they keep us in the loop on every Theme, if something goes wrong with the house and they have to get it fixed um, it's just it felt right so the guy's gonna be coming and taking the pictures pretty soon and then getting it up on the market and for rent so you guys are gonna be coming along with me um, on decluttering like I got to get this house in order so as far as my Mondays go on my power hour Mondays, I always post a power hour on Monday. Um, that is gonna change up a little bit because that is gonna be now consists of either decluttering, organization, um, clean with me's or a power hour. So it's gonna kind of turn into like a motivational Monday um, on something along with the house. If it's like testing out cleaning hacks or a power hour or just a declutter video or whatever it is that's what's going to be on mondays um once we get the keys to the house i will do an empty house tour and kind of show you guys the before the process of going through redoing things and then the after and i'm super excited because i have like pictures maybe i'll show you guys like on a vlog um for like my filming room and kind of like what we have as far as an idea of like the bathrooms and stuff like that. So that's what's going on you guys. <laughs> so you guys are gonna come along with me on packing. We're gonna be doing a yard sale. So that should be fun. I've never done one before. I don't know if you guys have any tips, let me know down below what yard sale tips you guys have because I've never done one and we're gonna do one because we need to get rid of some stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, go ahead and click subscribe and let's uh, go along for this crazy ride of our life here. Keep moving, keep moving here. <laughs> so we're gonna have to put in a new doggy door for Miles and yeah, so. That's a game plan. When we go to the stores and go shopping for materials, I plan on vlogging, bringing you guys along for every step of the way. So if you guys are new, would love for you guys to subscribe. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys have a good one. And until next time, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.